So Sony recently had their their conference, like their business conference or whatever, that showed off the the PS4 uh, Pro and. It was pretty bad. I'm not sure if you watched it, but I wouldn't even watch it. They announced a PlayStation 4 Pro that can play games in 4K, sort of. It upreses them to 4K. Um, but anyway, at in the meeting, they showed the PlayStation family, and they had the audacity to put PlayStation Move controllers in that picture and completely disregard the PlayStation Vita. What the hell? PlayStation Move, I get that you're going to be using it with VR, but that hardware put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. The critical reception was poor of it. Um, no one really likes the PlayStation Move with the way it looks. It might make more sense with, with VR, we don't really know yet. I, it just, honestly, just pisses me off because the Vita recently, in my opinion, has had one of its best months or two months or so in the history of the handheld, content-wise, not sales-wise, two totally different things. If you look at the games that have come out recently and the support from companies and their apps, there's like new apps, there's like an anime app, there's a Twitch app. Um, it just seems like it's it's thriving more with content than it ever has before. Honestly, I know that sounds weird, but the Vita is getting way better games and way more games recently than it ever has in my opinion. In case you were uninformed about some some good games that have come out recently, we've gotten games like Grand Kingdom, Odin Sphere, Trails of Cold Steel, Alone With You, a super good uh, indie game that you should check out, and uh, Psychopath's Mandatory Happiness, and God Eater, and even Attack on Titan was awesome. Even uh, Criminal Girls 2 is, is coming out. I'm sure that'll be good. Just a bunch of really good games. And some of them are like smaller games, of course. And then, But a lot of them are, have like a triple A quality to them. A term that I use t uh, too much, obviously. But um, just a bunch of awesome games. Really good games that are actually doing good critically. It's not just me. And Sony just completely ignores it. They completely ignore the fact that their Vita is getting really good third party support right now. And they don't even put it on their family photo of all the PlayStation hardware. They put PS4, PSVR, P PlayStation Move. There might have even have been a PS3 up there, I can't remember. Um, I'll insert the image in the video. But, I just don't understand. I don't understand. That's all I really have to say. It just really makes me mad. Let me know if you've been playing your Vita. Um, if you know me, I say this all the time, but I love the Vita. I love talking about the Vita. I love reviewing games on the Vita. And uh, I think you guys seem to like it a lot too because a lot of my Vita reviews get a lot of views. So yeah, I have some more coming. There's some work in, in the works right now. Uh, Mech, I can't, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a dungeon crawler called Mech Labyrinth of Death. Um, it's good, of course, because every Vita game that's been coming out recently has not been disappointing. But yeah, I just, let me know what you think. Sony has completely stopped thinking about the PlayStation Vita, at least in the US. Um, luckily third parties are still supporting it with a bunch of games, but I just don't get it. Oh, Telltale just emailed me. In Japan, they just announced that the Vita is getting two new colors, so obviously it's still continuing to thrive there, which is awesome. So that leaves uh, companies like, like NIS and Idea Factory to bring those games over in the US and localize them because we're going to play those Japanese games because we love our Vita, we play it for Japanese games, we play it for indies, and we play it for maybe every now and then a AAA game. Um, leave some comments below, subscribe if you like this video, and I will talk to you guys later.